Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage. So today I'm going to swap cases, some for a baffled one. And I was really excited about that and I told a couple of my friends about it. And it turned out that a lot of people are actually not aware about some baffles and what their advantages are. So today I figured it might be a good idea to show you guys what a baffled sump is, how they work and why you should get one. So to start off, here we have a regular sump. I've already removed it from the car. And this is what's behind the sump. Now, this is the most important part right now. That's the oil pickup. Basically, the oil pump picks up all the oil from the bottom of the sump and basically it sucks it through here and then distributes it through the block. You can kind of compare it to a vacuum cleaner, only it sucks up all the oil from the bottom of the sump. It's pretty much placed like this. Your car requires a constant oil pickup in order to distribute it through the block in order to lubricate everything. And when you're driving around normally, there's absolutely no problem. But what happens when you start racing? Now, I've just put a little bit of oil back into the sump. And I'm pretty sure that if you guys go racing, you know that your center of gravity changes and moves around if you corner really fast. Well, the same happens with the oil in your oil pan. So if you corner real fast to the left and to the right, the oil will slosh around in your oil pan. And if you are very unlucky, there won't be enough oil left for your oil pickup to actually pick up and that will lead to oil starvation and some really really nasty problems so is there a solution to this well yes there is enter the baffled sump you can clearly see there's a difference between a regular sump and a baffled sump so let me grab a spare oil pickup real quick i think you are getting the idea by now Fortunately, baffled sumps have been designed in such a way to keep the oil near the oil pickup at any time, no matter how fast you corner. So, if you have a baffled sump installed in your car, you are definitely sure that you won't have any oil pickup issues when cornering really, really fast. And trust me, you don't want to have any oil pickup issues ever. I mean, if you're familiar with this series, then you've probably seen Boyd with his Nissan Stagia RB25, and well, all the issues he has rebuilding that engine because of oil starvation or even my Suzuki Cappuccino which also had a lot of issues due to oil starvation so it's one thing you definitely definitely do not want as prices go for some baffles well if you are able to weld yourself or you know somebody who can weld then you're probably lucky because there are a lot of kits that are basically just a couple of pieces of sheet metal that you can weld in your sump yourself and those are really cheap like I think the cheapest ones I've seen are around 20 bucks but if you can't weld or you don't know anyone and you don't want that, you would just want a ready-made sump, well, then they're more expensive. I've seen them range from about 200 to even five, six hundred dollars. But let's be honest, if you are racing your car, it's cheaper to just install a baffled sump, even if it's more expensive than one that you can weld in yourself, because having a baffled sump installed in your car is always cheaper than having to rebuild your entire engine. So yeah guys, that's it for today. I hope this video was useful and that you liked it. Leave a like if you did and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.